I'm joined once again by Mitch of Panther Panther and San Pedro to talk about some law when it comes to your health because that's one thing that maybe you don't consider right away. One question I have for you, Mitch, is how do I know that I've just had a bad result, I don't like how I was treated necessarily at the medical care provider, or there was actual malpractice. What's the difference? So there's a big difference. First of all, let's define medical malpractice. Right. Medical malpractice is when the doctor, healthcare facility, healthcare providers, nursing staff, anybody medical related providing medical care and treatment to you does something wrong. Mm. and that there are damages that flow from that. The damages need to be quite serious because the pursuit of a medical malpractice case is expensive, right. time consuming, and you need a skilled, qualified attorney right. that can represent you in that kind of case. Right. So the staff was kind of ornery and I didn't like my experience, that's not malpractice. We get those calls every day. The doctor <laughs> wasn't nice, the nurse didn't give me my food, my food when it came was disgusting. Right. That's bad treatment, that's not medical malpractice. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but that's not malpractice. And, and the advice I give to people, Complain, yeah. talk to administration, talk to risk management, talk to people so it doesn't happen to somebody else. But the lawyer's not gonna do anything for you because there's no case there. Right, now what would an example be of malpractice then? So malpractice is when you go to the hospital and you're supposed to operate on your left leg and they operate on your right leg. But even then, what are the damages? Right. Things have changed so that now they'll put a big X on the leg that they should operate on or shouldn't operate on. Mm -hmm. That's medical malpractice. Medical malpractice is when they give you the wrong medication and you have serious results. You're allergic to penicillin. It's in your chart, you're allergic to penicillin. They give you penicillin, you have shock, you have treatment, um, you get really sick as a result of it. That's medical malpractice. Now, somebody's watching right now and they think, you know what, that leg situation happened to me, but that was so many years ago. What's the window of time somebody has to go after something like this? So that's called the statute of limitations or a time limitation. In all cases, whether it's an auto accident or medical malpractice, there are certain time limitations within which to pursue a case. Right. In medical malpractice, it's a shortened time limitation. It's generally two years from the date you knew or should have known of there being malpractice. So right. what we tell people is go get treatment, get it taken care of, go to a lawyer immediately. If you wait more than two years, there are certain exceptions within the law, but generally speaking, two years is your time window. Hopefully this is something you never have to deal with, but if you do, you should certainly seek legal counsel. And if people would like to learn more about this subject, how can they? Well, again, on our website, pantherlaw.com, we have frequently asked questions, but more importantly, feel free to give us a call anytime. Excellent. Well, Mitch, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Appreciate it.